Digital media changes our ways of seeing by increasing the amount of documentation citizens do. Leonardo da Vinci dedicated seven years of his life to creating his masterpiece, the Mona Lisa. Today, literally thousands of images have been produced across the world in a split second. The ubiquity of digital photography is prevalent throughout our society to the extent that it has become virtually impossible for an ordinary person in a digitally connected country to live a day of their life without coming into contact with some type of human-made image. One of the greatest contributing factors to the dramatic increase in the quantity of existing images is the integration of a digital camera into a mobile device that nearly everyone in a developed society possesses, the cell phone. Thanks to this device, virtually anyone can create an image. It does not take extensive training, education, or skill, but almost anyone, even children, can create an image with the touch of a button. Through this revolution of power to create images being distributed through the masses, we see our history not only as being written by the winners, but also by the bystander who happens to be at the right place at the right time. Cell phone cameras have captured some of the most significant events of this era. This well-known video of Saddam Hussein's execution was recorded with a cell phone camera. The Iraqi government also released footage, but it was cut to exclude any view of Hussein dropping or hanging. In addition, the government's public release was muted. The jeering and taunting from the people around Hussein as he was killed was made inaudible, giving the unrealistic impression that his execution was less supported than it actually was. Because of cell phone cameras, the government had lost control of what information was provided to the public. This control was given to the bystander who owned a cell phone. Without this footage, the public perspective of Hussein's execution would have been forever altered. This newfound power to the masses threatens authority's control. The bystander can easily record and distribute information that would not normally be released. In this interview, Professor Roger Stahl from the University of Georgia discusses Copwatch, an organization focused on fighting police misconduct. So these organizations have formed, uh, loosely called Copwatch, where citizens are encouraged to approach um, an altercation or an arrest scenario with a camera and document it for the project. Some police officers really welcome uh, a kind of uh, sunlight into this whole process and seeing it as a, a kind of mode of exoneration. And others really react to it negatively. And uh, you know, there have been <clears throat> situations where um, police officers have gotten very sensitive and police chiefs have even issued orders to, uh, you know, if you encounter a situation where somebody is um, videotaping you in an unauthorized manner, to take care of that problem first before you do anything else, take away the camera. In Miami, I believe it was 1999, um, uh, the uh, city officials and police officers of Miami were instructing uh, riot control police to do whatever they could to address the problem of citizen cameras um, before they made any arrests. So there's a lot of camera confiscation going on right now. Uh, so it's not only happening in the mall, but it's happening in our you know, traditional thin blue line uh, of power between the state and the people. The police in Miami were more concerned about their image than actually preventing violence. While cell phones have made it possible for some major events to be recorded properly and in their entirety, perhaps their most significant effect can be found in the recording and preservation of insignificant events. Today's history books are compilations of major events that have affected mass amounts of people. Minor events do not have a place in these books. People use cell phone cameras to capture spontaneous, memorable events. By allowing for a more thorough documentation of major events, and by providing a greater amount of detail about the present than ever before through documentation of minor events, cell phone imagery could potentially alter the way in which we see history. Unlike other images, cell phone images possess an unsurpassable degree of shareability. They can be sent to other cell phones, uploaded to computers, shared and saved on the internet, and even printed out and put into photo albums. With the constant taking and sharing of pictures comes another phenomena, a culture obsessed with photo opportunities. Suddenly, events which should be enjoyed for their inherent worth become opportunities for people to put on a facade for the rest of the world, to display themselves to their own liking. This constant staging of one's life alters the perception that others, and even themselves, hold. It is becoming increasingly popular for people to attend events merely for the photo opportunity they pose, instead of purely for personal enjoyment. Cell phones have created another media with which people can document and broadcast their lives. 
they have changed our ways of seeing by making normal events a photo opportunity. This has shifted the ideological value that life should be enjoyed to life should be documented. Cell phone cameras have made it possible to capture fleeting moments of everyday life and to preserve them for longer than was ever previously conceivable.